In this video, I'm going to give you my five top tips on how to stop revenge trading. Avoid the cascading effect before revenge trading takes place. So what I mean by that is that revenge trading is usually the result of a series of events that have taken place around the trading platform. So it might be that you break one of your rules um, and that could be because you're tired. So you can see that revenge trading is actually the ultimate result of you just being tired at your trading platform. Or it could be the result of, for example, you've had a series of losses, you're feeling a bit depressed about it, um, you go to your platform and you do risky things because at the back of your mind what you're trying to do is actually get your money back and things don't go well, you've already broken your rules and therefore you have a what the hell attitude. Um, you start taking silly trades, um, you lose more money and then revenge trading comes into play. So in order to avoid revenge trading, the first thing is to actually avoid the cascading effect. So what that means is if you stop yourself going to your platform, um, if you're tired, um, if you're in the wrong frame of mind, for example, like you've had a series of losses and you're feeling a bit edgy about it, um, or you've started breaking some of your rules, by understanding that that little thing which seems so um, innocent and sort of uh, non-impactful at that point can have a knock-on effect that leads to revenge trading and therefore you stop it in the track. So in other words, the secret to stopping revenge trading is stopping the series of events that turn into the cascading effect. And so it actually goes back to um, avoid breaking your trading rules. So when that little voice in your head sort of shows you something, um, for example, you've just lost a trade and you've been trading in the wrong direction. And then what you see is that the, the price actually makes a big breakthrough and you decide in an instant that you're going to trade in the opposite direction because momentum has obviously shifted, you've already had a loss, and so you just completely trade outside your system. Um, and because all you're thinking about at that moment is to just um, follow momentum and make up for the loss you've just had. Well, at that moment, you're not really thinking about what that is actually going to lead to. You're thinking maybe, oh, well, I'll lose a few points. You, but you're not really thinking that this is going to lead to the cascading effect. So make it a matter of vital importance that you stick to your trading rules. Top tip number three, put in a maximum loss instruction with your broker. So if it's possible, not all brokers will do this, but if you can, a lot of brokers will, Put in a maximum loss instruction so that um, and if you can decide it beforehand for the day and put it in for the day and that will actually bypass your um, revenge trading or whatever silly um, mess that you get yourself into which traders do because they lose control but by putting in a maximum loss instruction with your broker you've actually outsmarted that brain and you've made it an absolute point that you can't lose more than a certain amount and even though at the time if that kicks in and you and you put in your maximum loss, even though everything inside you might be saying, oh, you want to carry on trading. How can I actually avoid that instruction? How can I get around that instruction? The following day, you'll be glad you put in that instruction. OK, so try that. Put in a maximum loss instruction with your broker um, to stop your revenge trading in its tracks before it has a chance to get out of hand. Notice how long it takes you to actually get mentally tired at the computer and build in breaks. So if you're a day trader and this usually happens with people who are scalping day trading or even they could be doing swing trading. But if they're using the lower time frames to get in and there's a lot of waiting involved, that can result in mental tiredness. Now, 
if you actually measure this, and this is something trading plans don't tell you to do, but if you think of your trading plan not only as a trading plan um, and record keeping plan for your system, but also a record keeping plan for your um, psychological performance, that one of those records could be at what point did you get tired when you were waiting for a trade? And what you need to do is if you notice, for example, that after 30 minutes at the charts, your, your, um, your self-control starts to slip, then you can build in a way of um, only coming to the charts, for example, when your, uh, um, your alert goes off. Um, you could set a series of decreasing alerts. For example, you set an alert to go to your main price and then you put in another alert, for example, when price breaks through a particular level. And then if you're wake, waiting for a pullback, you put in another alert when that price is broken so that you're you're spending minutes or seconds even at your actual um, computer. You're you're only doing it to see. Um, you know what's going on and to set your new alert and so that you actually are spending less than 30 minutes at the charts at a time so that's just an example of an extreme way of actually avoiding being tired at the computer because the other option would be that you simply sit through that whole period of time waiting for price to break out waiting for it to pull back and watching the charts the whole time and you don't need to do that if you're using price alerts and by by using that, you're actually saving your mental energy um, and you're avoiding tiredness at the computer, which then avoids that knock on cascading effect. And top tip number five, make it a goal to avoid overtrading and the cascading effect. And as I've said in another video, you get what you focus on. So if losing control when you trade is a problem for you, then make that your focus not to avoid not to actually lose control and to put procedures in place that mean that you do not lose control and make that a priority because if you're a manual trader and you lose control it doesn't matter what your system is you're never going to be a winning trader so if that's a problem for you make it your primary goal um, and I would also suggest read my trading psychology books so and use the exercises inside those books which will help you avoid the cascading effect and again avoiding the knock-on um, revenge trading as a result of that.